guys and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. So in this video, I was going to do a couple different videos over the different products, but I know I haven't been putting out videos as often as I'd like to. So with that being said, I'm going to put all these things out in one video for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. So as most of you know, I just got a SIG P320 full size 9mm um, within the last couple of months, I guess month or two. I made a video about me getting this and me talking about it how comfortable it is um, and I have very few rounds through it right now but I've had no issues with it and I definitely love how this thing feels so for all of you safety freaks out there it's clear there's no magazine inserted um, so what I want to talk to you guys about obviously as you can tell by the thumbnail is uh, three accessories for this gun one of which is super super inexpensive the other one is very very affordable especially for what you were getting and the third one, I actually made a video on talking about um, getting it a lot cheaper than what it's listed on on the actual website. But um, I'm going to show you guys that even though it is a little more expensive as far as compared to the other two, it's still definitely worth the money. So the very first thing I want to talk about is something that I put on all of my guns. It is Talon Grip. So you can see right here, six hour full um, P320 rubber black. Now. The reason I point that out is when I first started buying these grips, I would buy the sandpaper version, or I bought the sandpaper version. I only did it once, and I put that on my Glock 43, and it is very, very grippy. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It's definitely a good, if not great, product. The only issue that I had with it is that's a gun that I carried appendix style, um, and there was nothing between me and the gun sometimes. Sometimes it was... You know, my shirt was, it was just single shirt over it, so the gun was pressed up against my body. And um, that grip was pushing up against my skin. And because it was that sandpaper style grip, moving a lot, sitting up, sitting down, you know, doing all these things, it started to kind of chafe away at my skin and it started to bother me. So I was like, well, I don't like this. And I thought it was a product at first, but then I went over to the, um, to the rubber version and it's got the little texture thing. You can see it right there. But I went over to the rubber version and I have not had that issue since. It's definitely just as grippy as um, the sandpaper version. I actually like the way this feels a little bit better. It's a little bit softer. It's a little bit cushionier. And I feel like when this one is, you know, a little wet, a little moist, whether it's sweat from your hands, drizzle from being outside in the rain, um, if you get blood on it, whatever it is, if it's a little bit wet, I feel like it actually grips a little bit better. So it's kind of crazy how that works out. So that is actually already on the gun. You can see how it sits right there. Um, unless you're looking for it, it being all black, you don't even see it on there. But like I said, it makes a world of difference. And you can normally find these for $20 or less. Um, you can go to Talon's website. This is not sponsored. Or um, there's an actual website down there. Like I said, this is not sponsored by them at all. Or you can go on Amazon. That's where I bought this one. Um, I actually found it cheaper on Amazon that the day that I bought it. So I went ahead and just bought it off of there. Of course, two-day shipping. Got it in. Put it on. And I have not used it other than just here in the house. Um, you know, drawing from the holster, different stuff like that. But that's that. The second thing is actually a little bit of a surprise. I talked to my buddy over at uh, Concho Valley Custom Kydex. And if you guys don't know about him, go and check him out. I'll leave his uh, his website linked down below. But um, he's a good buddy of mine, and he makes amazing, amazing holsters. I've done reviews on his holsters before, and I continue to talk them up because they're just they're just great holsters. I've never had any issues with them. Anything that I've ever had mess up or break on them has been 100% my fault. And I reach out to him, and customer service is amazing. He's fixed everything at no cost to me, and it's just just been amazing you know this one I got a text message the other day and he said um, hey I have your holster and we talked about doing a holster but I didn't tell him specifics now he already knows what I like but I didn't tell him specifics he just said I have your holster and he actually delivered it to me because of this whole quarantine I'm not supposed to be going anywhere or whatever but he brought this to me and this is the P320 light bearing holster now that click right there, I just can't get enough of that. Now, like I said, the gun is unloaded, but it's not going anywhere. He also put a little flip-up thumb switch on there. 
normally I'm not a huge fan of that but he made this so low profile and out of the way that it does not bother me I'm not a big hood fan I don't rock a hood on my duty belt um, I just feel like it's one more thing that it can get caught up on but like I said he brought this to me surprised me with it and I definitely like the look of it and in wearing it this last day or so I mean it's just so low profile it doesn't get in the way so great retention on it great holster great company and a great person you know behind the company great customer service so I always 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 will will use his holsters and like I said that was just a great surprise this one is what I was talking about it's a very inexpensive especially for what you're getting if you go out on the market and you go look up some of these holsters some of these companies um, some of these guys are charging hundreds of dollars for their holsters now I'm not saying that it's not worth it I'm not saying that you know there that there's anything wrong with those holsters but you're getting just as great of a product if not better I mean in my personal opinion um, for a fraction of the price now his lead time is a little bit longer than others but you gotta remember when he's making that great of a product for the prices that he's making there's going to be people out there that want his holsters so there's going to be a line of people that are trying to get you know these holsters so I, I don't have anything negative to say but if I was gonna say something negative it's a negative because of a positive he's getting so much business that there's a little bit of a wait time but take it from me definitely definitely worth the wait like I said he surprised me with this and big shout out to Levi I appreciate it um, he always surprises me I always come up with these random ideas and this one is, is pretty straightforward as far as what it is but every time that I come up with them come to an idea with him I mean he makes it happen and like I said we talked about this holster and he came through and I, again I didn't even know this was coming when it came I was expecting to wait a little bit longer but he already had the mold set up and was just punching them out and he got that made for me so the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is a little bit more expensive and like I said I made a video the last two videos actually were about this um, it is the CAA MCK the micro conversion kit I'm not gonna put the gun in there just because the gun has a light on it I don't feel like taking the light off and doing all that you guys can go and check out my other videos but this is a little micro conversion kit it's still classified as a pistol because of the brace that's on there and this thing is just fun now I have not got to shoot this thing yet I know it's fun because I have a sub 2000 which essentially is the same thing um, pistol caliber you can go out and shoot these things a lot of fun now my sub 2000 is technically a rifle where this is a pistol but you're getting pretty much the same thing out of it now as far as velocity and accuracy and all that kind of stuff this is the barrel that's being used this is not a barrel extension it's just a barrel shroud it just goes over or around so the round is going through this but it's not barreled um, it's not the same width and diameter as this is as you can tell right there so this isn't going to help out as far as the barrel or the shroud with any kind of accuracy but this is going to give you more points of contact for you to get this in nice and tight get some sights on there and be able to control this a little bit better and um, shoot a little bit more accurate reach out a little bit farther and have a little bit better follow-up shots as opposed to a pistol that's kicking it back and forth you can mitigate that recoil by holding here and squeezing in a little bit tighter so I hope you guys enjoy this video these are the three upgrades that I have um, really to this SIG now because of my department I can't really do too much else to this gun but I, I'm not even gonna lie even if I could I don't think there's anything else that I would do to this gun it's just Oh, an amazing gun. I mean, I've had no issues. It feels good in my hand. I have the medium grip um, for those of you who are wondering that But it feels good in my hand. I mean the trigger feels nice Recoil is amazing. I mean Nothing nothing negative to say. I just like adding grips to all of my gun. It's just what I'm used to um, And I got asked the other day As far as the MCK what the difference is as far as something like this um, a sub 2000 and then the CZ Scorpion um, I talked about that in the other video but I'll answer that again a CZ Scorpion essentially is this here but I feel like I have more options when it comes to this because I can shoot it like this I can store it like this or I can pop the handgun out and just have a handgun so I just feel like I get more out of this now 
the sub 2000 again great i have a sub 2000 chambered in 40 and i just thought it was a really cool thing um but at the end of the day it's just a matter of your preference um again i have nothing negative to say about the cz scorpion i've never actually shot one I've, i would love to own one i just don't feel like it's necessarily spend that much money on something that i can just put this into this does the same thing and then i can pop this out and uh and, and we're good so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video comment down below go and check out contro valley custom kydex go hit them up on instagram go hit them up on facebook i'm gonna leave all that stuff in the description but go hit them up and let them know that you guys saw my video i love seeing that that you guys going over there and show him love and he loves seeing it because of course the more customers he gets the better for his growing business but i'm telling you guys i would not would not point you guys in a direction of any company if I didn't truly believe in it I'm not putting my name on something that I don't a hundred percent believe in and having a military background and now as a law enforcement officer I mean your gear is everything if you don't have good gear if you don't have reliable gear I mean I don't know what to tell you if you don't have reliable gear you're not gonna make it through the end of the day you have to be able to trust your gear rely on that gear yet when you fall on it when when things get crazy you have to be able to know that the gear that you have is going to work and i stand behind this 100 percent. so go and check out his stuff he's got some stuff on the website um some quick ship items those things usually go pretty fast because like i said there's a lot of people that want his products so if you guys have any questions about the 320 like i said this is a medium grip full size nine millimeter and it's it's amazing i love it it's got night sights on it it's got the TLR1 HL. It's just an amazing gun. And like I said, that grip, if you guys don't use these grips, again, not sponsored. If you don't use these grips, go and try one. $15, $20. If you don't like it, you're only out $15, 20 bucks. But I guarantee you, you will start putting this on all your guns. All of my guns that they make them for have this on there. So, again, thank you guys for checking out this video. I have more stuff coming soon. So if you guys have any questions, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and give me a thumbs up so that more people see these videos and we can continue to make stuff like this for y'all. But until next time, I'll see you on the next one.